the Chinese removed 15,000 nationals over the last week. The British and other European nations sent in warships to remove their nationals. The British sent in a C-130 to take people out. We rented a ferry that sat at port for 36 or 48 hours because it couldn't make it across the choppy waters of the Mediterranean. Right. That's pathetic. I don't know why we did it. Maybe we didn't want to look too militaristic. God forbid we should actually use the fifth or sixth, the fifth fleet and send an actual warship to get our people out. I think it would have been kind of useful to move an aircraft carrier into the Mediterranean, which I'm not sure we've done yet. So I think the president's response was wildly overcautious, uh, reflecting Juan's view that God forbid the Americans should look like they're actually helping the, an Arab people overthrow a brutal dictator. You asked a couple of minutes ago, what do you do when a brutal dictator wants to fight to death? What you do is hasten his death, hasten his departure. And I think we could do much more to do that. We're not the president. You said the president's uh, working on a no-fly zone. There's no evidence of that. That's not in the UN resolution. There's still a that he's still slaughtering people in the Bill, streets do of you Tripoli. Think, do you think that it's a reality that Muammar Gaddafi is not a rational person, that he's a terrorist and a sick man? And do you think that there is evidence historically that his response to American military efforts has been off the board? He's gone ballistic and done things if that are a threat to not only his own people, but to Middle East stability. If you're the president reasons, of the United States, you, what you're suggesting would have been reckless action that was provocative to Gaddafi. You just said he's a reckless, sick man. Now, you can't provoke such a man. You can't the, way he, the one message he did learn in, fact, in the Reagan years, I think, is to be a little scared of U.S. force. And I think we didn't signal enough force and didn't use enough force in the last week. Having said that, fine, they were slow. They, we got the diplomats out. Now could we finally help the Libyan people end this thing? I think you will see that. And, and, and you, would, you have no problem with the idea of military force, no-fly zone. If there are tanks in the streets, take out the tanks. In conjunction with NATO nations. I don't think yeah, it has to be the U.S. alone, but I don't think we should paralyze us by waiting for the Russians and Chinese to approve of it. And, and do, 